what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where i'm going to be talking about some features that i think rise of kingdoms absolutely needs now really quick before we begin i just want to remind you guys that i'm still doing my 10,000 subscriber gift card giveaway if you guys haven't entered yet there's still a couple of days left to do that there will be a link in the description below to enter that giveaway absolutely for free so go ahead and do that if you want some free gems in rise of kingdoms if you guys have any questions about the giveaway i made a video a couple of days ago check that out it should answer absolutely everything now the timing and planning of this video could not be worse look at the date and time of this note Man. july 15th at 409 p.m that was when i started planning this video with bullet points right this was today's the 18th this was three days ago i was laying in bed and i was thinking of all these features that i want to see implemented into rise of kingdoms the ironic part is that apparently on the 14th so the day prior to me writing this note there was a dev note update in the official rise of kingdoms discord which i didn't even know about until chisco posted a video talking about it uh yesterday and the irony there is that a lot of the things that i wanted and that i put in this note were talked about in this dev note and so so i want to talk about a couple of the features that they did address as well as some features that they didn't talk about that i still want to see implemented into rise of kingdoms now i don't want to just cover that dev note because that's exactly what chiskel did so i want to expand on some of these specific points and kind of give my opinions and feedback and kind of what i would like to see and how i would like to see them actually implement some of these ideas anyway ramses is on the screen for a reason because the first bullet point that i have here the first one that i want to see the first feature that i want to see is is nothing too crazy it's new civilizations baby it's new civilizations they are long overdue i believe the latest civilizations were added in march of 2019 which is well over a year now I don't actually know i don't know exactly when they were implemented but i believe it was early 2019 so we're over a year away from that initial release of the latest civilizations if you guys didn't know if you're new to the game the final three civilizations here the byzantium ottoman empire and arabia these are the three newest what i want to see right and here's where i'm going to kind of spin this a little bit is i would like to see an egyptian civilization right i think that this civilization is a no-brainer why well we already have cleopatra and we already have ramses and we have the entire arc of osiris game mode the entire game mode is based literally in egypt right like there's so much egyptian lore and culture and commanders built into this game i mean look look behind ramses there's literally a pyramid behind him like like Egypt is for all intents and purposes already in the game. It's just, they don't have an official civilization. Now tying this into that dev note that was posted on the rise of kingdoms discord. They did actually say that adding more civilizations is another frequent request that players make and that new civilizations are definitely planned to be added to the game in the future. Now that's super amazing, right? That's great. I'm happy to hear that. The only problem with that answer is that we don't have a timeline, right? Some of these features, they say, oh, we're thinking about it, but we're not really sure. Some the answers say they're coming soon this answer doesn't give us a timeline at all and i think what's happening here and, and it might seem like oh just add new civilizations like all you need is a different color for the buildings and you know boom you're done but the problem is actually they actually they have to go through and they have to rework pretty much all of these uh city skins people don't even realize that these city skins look different depending on what civilization you have and so it's not just a matter of adding a new civ and picking who the epic is going to be and what buffs it's going to have it's they have to actually make the artwork for a new civilization and they have to make that civilization backwards compatible with all of these different city skins and so i think that at this point in the game it's actually way harder to add a civilization than what meets the eye which is what i think is taking them so long to add new ones however it is way overdue right it's way overdue and i think egypt would be an insanely cool civilization to have added into the game i also would love to see greece added i know we already have rome and byzantium they're pretty redundant but we also have uh, leonidas right leonidas is literally from sparta uh, where am i going leonidas is like the most famous spartan general uh he's he's really awesome he's already in the game right he's already in the game so i think that having a, a greek civilization and especially you know because of athens and sparta just having 
having so many famous uh generals in history i think that would be a no-brainer to add right i've also heard a lot of people in my comment section and in my live stream saying that they want to see some sort of like viking sort of norse culture mythology into the game which i think could also be really really cool i'm not familiar with any generals or famous vikings so i'm sure there are some that they can implement and i think that that would be a really cool aspect of the game that we haven't really addressed i would love to hear in the comments what you think the next civilization should be i'm sure there's a million great ones out there so please let me know in the comment section below the second bullet point on this list is new epic commanders right i want to see more epic commanders and the reason for this is because i think that free to play players need more man we need to see free to play players have more epic commanders because here's why as the game progresses they add more and more legendaries and they add a ton of legendaries right they add legendaries so frequently that most players even big spenders can't keep up right and that's fine i, I think that's okay um as long as they are keeping up that pace with free to play and honestly they haven't been they haven't been adding enough epic commanders we got kiera uh and that was it besides the um commanders that we got from the civilizations that they added in 2019 right and so epic commanders are in in a very short supply right now and the problem is that we're seeing power creep with the legendary commanders meaning the newer legendary commanders tend to be more powerful than the older commanders that you know started in the game or the gold key commanders right those are very old legendaries and a lot of times and not all the time but a lot of times the newer commanders in the game are just much more powerful than the new ones right you don't see people leading rallies with caesar anymore because you you have attila takeda which are just far far better and so we see power creep with the legendaries but we're not seeing any power creep at all with the epic commanders and the problem with that is that free to play players already had a disadvantage when we're talking about the base epic commanders versus the gold key legendaries that were kind of like the og legendaries there was already a big power gap between them right um but now comparing the same epics that have been here since day one with the new power creep ultra powerful uh legendaries um it's just an even bigger gap and right and so i want to see more epics added that are better and i'm not saying that they have to be god tier you know status but uh, another commander as powerful as sun tzu would be pretty cool right it would be cool to have that extra commander for free to play players and even a commander that's maybe good enough to where uh pay to win players would want to use them as well just like sun tzu or joan of arc right and so i want to see that i want to see more epics and in this dev note they did say that they were planning on adding an epic commander in the near future and that's good that means that not only is this something that they're addressing but it's coming soon which is amazing i'm very happy to hear that but they said an epic commander meaning one i want to see more i want to see them add at least three or four epic commanders and ones that um, maybe are associated with a civilization drop the next bullet point that i have is ways to convert arrows and books to something useful that's literally what i wrote verbatim and what i'm talking about is arrows of resistance and books of the covenant as you can see here i have tons of books of covenant twelve thousand arrows like what so this is something that i really want to see happen i want to see them give us a reason to um convert these into something that we can use and this is also something that they talked about in this dev note they said the very first thing was uh there are a lot of redundant items like arrows and covenant books etc that we want to exchange right and this even talks about like stars and stuff right like um there are so many uh, so many of these stars like i have ten thousand green stars like I, what am i ever going to do with them there's there's not enough commanders to even use these on right and so they talked about that they are looking to implementing a way to exchange them for some sort of special item shop which has a certain current and then you can use them they also talked about ethel fled sculptures as well being potentially added into this uh this feature as well which is amazing i actually used all my ethel fled sculptures uh just adding experience to commanders because like why not and i still have 300 left like and, and the, the downside of this right is that some point in the future they're probably going to add maybe city hall uh 26 that's totally a possibility and if they do that that means we're gonna see a wall 26 and by extension a watchtower 26 and a potentially a castle 26 which would mean that rally capacity goes up is that gonna break the game i don't know but if that's the case well i don't want to waste my books and arrows converting them into some some sort of like a currency uh so that's kind of the downside of this is that we don't know if they're ever going to do that so exchanging them now would be a risk however i do still think that that should be an option because as it stands like 
there's just so much extra stuff here in my items that I just am getting no value from at all. Uh, and I think if they implemented something like this, then more people would be inclined to participate in rallies or in other things like the Lohar ceremony or ways that you can get um, items and it would make these stars from silver keys actually useful if you're if you're a level a city hall 25 player silver keys are basically useless as soon as you expertise all the the epics you don't need silver keys pretty much at all right the drop rate for speed ups in them is just terrible so by doing by adding a new way to use these stars and exchange them for something useful you're also in a way buffing silver keys which i think need a buff so that's amazing i'm great it's it's great that they are already talking about doing this it's something that absolutely has to be done my next bullet point was new metal store legendary what that means is replace ethel fled man i I'm, I'm sick of seeing ethel fled here right there's been more than enough time for a lot of players to expertise her a year ago right it's it she's been expertised forever and so i think that having ethel fled available here is still good i don't want her replaced but maybe having this on like a monthly cycle or something like that or once you expertise this one a new one shows up that would be ideal um i want to see a new legendary here and uh, they've already talked about this as well they are saying that they're planning on releasing more free legendary commanders which means plural legendary commanders whereas for the epic they said one epic commander they're saying free legendary commanders which is good i'd rather see more free legendaries than free epics for sure um so they are planning on implementing this which i think is amazing and look it doesn't have to be the best legendary in the game right i just want it to be one that is comparable to ethel fled and one that is good in the open field one that's good for something right where you know you have to grind for it but if you grind for it every day you're rewarded with a good decent usable legendary for free to play that's all i'm looking for i'm not saying give away attila takeda for free to play i just let's do it let's compromise right let's compromise i think ethel flood was amazing let's see that type of quality again for free to play players my next bullet point was a uh, new use for unused sculptures like ethel fled um this also applies to other legendaries that you expertise that you happen to have extra sculptures from so for me i have like almost 200 south south sculptures i want them to give me a way to use those at least let me convert them into universals with some reduction right i'm not saying give me 200 universals in exchange for my 200 south south i'm saying maybe give me i don't know 125 universals for my 200 south south or 100 or 50 something is better than nothing so long as you don't add another skill to legendaries and then we're left with 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 garbage the next bullet point was commander resets now i know we already have talent tree resets uh, i want to see full commander resets meaning let me give you an example here and this is something i'm sure if you're watching you've probably messed up a legendary commander right the first couple of legendaries you got from gold keys you probably brought them to four stars because you thought oh i got a shiny legendary let's let's level them up right let's take a look at my frederick let's look at him four two five one man i am never gonna use frederick at this rate i'm just never gonna do it he's basically useless to me which sucks because when i get him in gold keys i'm not excited for it because i already know that i need so many more sculptures to make him good that it's 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 not good right it's it's bad in a perfect world i could have a five five one one freddy and that would be way better than what i have now is it still usable maybe not but still i think there's something to be said about a commander reset meaning uh take your commander reset it back to level one back to one star with a single skill point and then reimburse you with some of the lost experience some of the lost stars and some of the lost sculptures meaning by doing a commander reset there should be a downside right you should take some percentage of a loss meaning maybe you take uh if you if you reset a legendary or even an epic right it, this should apply to really anything but for, for really for legendaries um maybe you only get 80 percent of what you put in back which would be pretty substantial i think you would a lot of players would seriously consider if that's worth it or not but if you messed up a commander bad enough it would actually be worth it so for example if you put um 300 legendary commander sculptures into a commander and then you use a commander reset item you would only get 270 of those sculptures back so there would be a pretty hefty cost to this um, but i think that would make it fair and um if you're in the early game it would at least be a way to catch your mistake early recognize it learn from that mistake 
and then not make it again in the future but still be able to keep that legendary in a state that is usable now maybe these uh these commander reset items cost some number of gems maybe they are 5,000 gems or something that is still pretty premium just like a civilization reset or something like that but regardless i think that there should be some way to do this no matter what the barrier of entry is as long as it's reasonable i just want to i want there to be an option right i want there to be an option now the only exceptions to this would be someone like minamoto obviously if you don't get the maximum sculpture uh, sculptures back then you can't expertise them ever so that's kind of the only issue there like minamoto and barca um but besides those like vip commanders i think every commander should be able to be reset with a cost now this is not something that they talked about in the discord this is not something on their list of things that they're considering this is not something that somebody i guess brought up to them uh but it's something that i would love to see and this is this has been something that i've wanted to see for a very long time i also think it would help retain new players right because a lot of people like they invest a lot into a commander they realize they messed them up and then they feel so far behind that it's overwhelming and they don't want to deal with that again and they just quit the game now is that common maybe not but still like keeping new players as often as possible is good the next thing i would love to see them implement into rise of kingdoms is expanding the soroli crisis event i think this event is uh, kind of overlooked a little bit because it's co it comes around pretty frequently sometimes it comes twice in the same week which is crazy uh, and they keep tweaking it they keep changing buffs debuffs adding things taking things out adjusting things which is good i like to see that but what i want to see is i want to see this game mode evolve into something way bigger i think they have something really special with soroli crisis that can be really fun in a teamwork environment so what am i talking about i'm saying I want to see this event become a regular event i want to see it once a week or maybe on the weeks where there's no arc of osiris so one week you have arc the next week you have soroli and i want the event to be bigger instead of just four players in the map maybe we make it eight players in a map or ten players in a map and i want the battles to be like raid bosses in mmos i think it would be way more epic if you had eight or ten players fighting just this mega powerful enemy and you know i think they could still do that while keeping the mechanics relatively simple um and i think that's really what soroli is it's a very like watered down mmo fight uh with like a raid boss or something like that if you guys have played world of warcraft or anything along those lines i'm sure you're familiar with raid battles but i think they could do that here i think they could do a top down sort of raid battle type of thing and if it happened two or four times per month with bigger battles bigger uh enemies and more rewards i think that would be way cooler than the current soroli that we have now which leads me into another point that i have and that is lag uh this is just a no-brainer lag needs needs work right they need to optimize their damage formula they need to optimize how servers are, are calculating damage um i don't know how they can fix this problem because i'm not involved in game development or anything like that but lag in kvk is crazy lag in even in civil wars is crazy in your home kingdom when you're doing certain events you're killing the guardians your whole kingdom is there killing guardians and the game's just lagging like crazy so lag is something that needs to be fixed and if they were going to expand soroli crisis to eight or ten players i think there may start to be a pretty big lag problem especially if the boss has a ton of health is doing a lot of mechanics they would have to balance that with the level of lag in that game mode but regardless i think if they could figure out a way to optimize these servers to calculate the the damage better to reduce the lag then they can improve soroli crisis to make it something that is truly unique and amazing and a game mode that more people are looking forward to and again if it's eight or ten players that will be an event it would really feel like event uh like you know you would want to go into voice chat with your alliance and be like all right let's get eight players together let's get ten players together in, include teamwork and you know the correct commanders and things like that because as it stands now you could pretty much dps down most of these bosses and i want to see more teamwork and you know just bigger fights in general and and i don't want that to come at the cost of more lag so these two things kind of go hand in hand and the final feature that i have written down on my note is tweak vip chest rewards now they kind of discussed this with discussing the possibility of um kind of uh, buffing our hannibal barca here right and i think hannibal barca needs a buff i don't think anybody is debating that um hannibal barca is not something that you really need after season one kvk he's just 
he's very underwhelming and the problem is i feel like minamoto is better than hannibal barca right i just think you see him more often maybe it's because he's easier to get but i don't know i just think his single target damage factor is huge he's great for calves i think minamoto is better and so when you consider that in order to even unlock barca you have to have way more vip and then you have to buy all these bundles again just like you did for minamoto it's like why would i do that when he's not that good so i think they need to tweak that but beyond that right beyond barca needing a buff i think like vip 13 giving you 2000 books of the covenant or vip 14 giving you 2000 books of covenant like by the time you get to vip 13 or 14 for most players you don't even need these books of the covenant right and so if barca ne is, needs a buff and you don't need books of the covenant well uh what am i spending a hundred dollars on like that's not even a lot of experience so these special privilege chests really need to be reworked in my opinion because once you hit late game they're literally useless like the like there's just no reason to buy these there's no reason to buy them at all um and that's that's unfortunate i think that you know that's one of the perks of getting the next vip level is that you have the opportunity to get a special chest that nobody else can get if they're not at that vip and so to have the rewards like to have that be this underwhelming it's like a hundred dollars really like i i would spend maybe 20 30 dollars like maybe like maybe right and so i think these really need a huge rework um books just don't put the books in vip 14 like what do you i just got to vip 14 and i'm 600 something days in like what yeah so vip chests totally need a rework the special privilege chests absolutely um they totally need a rework i think at 15 50 days of speed ups is pretty good you get a ton of resources this is okay 16 is okay as well i guess um i think you probably need more material chest to make this worth it but i don't know and then 17 like yeah these are good i just i, I think like if you're pushing this far into vip these chests should really hold a lot of value because you've already spent a ton of vip points and real life dollars and gems just to get to this point these should i should have to scroll to see all the rewards uh because not it's not just a hundred dollars it's all the money you spent to get there so that was the last thing on my list with that being said guys if you enjoyed this video i really hope that you would drop a thumbs up on the video it really does actually help out the channel i'm not just saying that it does help a ton so make sure you drop a thumbs up it takes one second comment down below any new civilizations or commanders that you want to see in the game i would love to read them i love speculating it's always exciting if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video as always my social media links are in the description below go ahead and follow me on instagram twitter i have a discord i have a twitch that i stream rise of kingdoms on and another reminder there is the link to my giveaway in the description below there's still a couple of days left to enter my giveaway i'm giving away a hundred dollars in free gift cards if you guys didn't know click the link below or check out the video that i made two videos ago talking about the giveaway finally there is a link in the description to download rise of kingdoms for free for your pc or mac it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms i noticed the least amount of crashes so definitely give it a check it's free it's easy links in the description to download blue stocks with rise of kingdoms and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace